Blue Jay Reactor kicking Monarch's ass to the depths of space is back on Earth, and now he's looking to save the world from the Fourth World Foundation. Sure, he had help from a number before, but she's not helping him this time. He's got to face it on his own. He's coming for a villain known as Adonis. He'll do it. You'll be there. Back it now. First Man 2. Learning. again hopefully the video is better this time i talked to spectrum i got my router reset so hopefully it's clearer so oh trying to do a few things here hello bye bye oh phone calls craziness everything is going crazy all right, let's see. Let me go to YouTube and see what it looks like on my end. Oh, that looks nice and clear. So there we go. Why is it? There we go. All right. All right, let's do some inking. A little ink in. Hopefully this camera position is better for you guys. It's not great for me because it's right under my chin, but, you know, I'm here for you. Hope everybody is going to have a great weekend. Don Chin, what's up, buddy? Got any weekend plans there, Don?
Wait, did you eat? What did you eat for breakfast? Wheaties? Granola? Neither, thank you. I had uh, yogurt. Adams is here, ready to learn everything there is to know about inking. Well, hopefully you'll learn something. I don't know if it's everything. Getting a massage tomorrow. Well, look at you go. Yeah, I had a Greek yogurt and a banana and a cup of coffee. That is what I have pretty much every day for uh, breakfast. Because I'm boring. I eat the same stuff every day. Keeps the decision making down. We're back, and the video should look good. I called up, and they reset my router. Oh, he's wearing a goofy costume you sent. Nice. I will be on Clayton Barton's uh, channel tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. What do you like about inking with a brush versus a quill? Uh, the brush holds more ink. The brush is more versatile and flexible. And I can pretty much do the exact same stuff with the brush I can do with the quill. I know I've said it before, but I'm going to go see Shang-Chi with my daughter when she gets off work. First Man Fashion, that's right. Thank you, Val, for posting that. Get your First Man Fashion.
No, the Wi-Fi queue. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. I just went through this, and now it's showing a weak signal. You've got to be joking. Uh, hopefully it goes away. Oh, it has. What make model brush? It does make a difference. I use a Raphael number three, series 8408. It's a Raphael Kalinsky, and I use Higgins Black Magic ink. So I hope that helped in terms of what I use. Get a little itch. There we go. Andy, the hawk nibbles, they're too pronounced. No way! You just wait till I ink them, Jorge. They'll be fine. Uh, brush inking is something you can't give up on right away because it takes, uh, you're not going to want to hear it. It takes years of practice. So if you're thinking you're going to pick up a brush and be a master at it out of the gate, uh, you won't be, but if you put the time in, you'll be happily rewarded. I do love seeing a little bit of his clavicles above the collar of his costume. Hit that like button. Welcome to the channel. That's right. Subscribe if you haven't. Back first, man, if you haven't.
even doing little wrinkles right here because it is the Superman. Subtle wrinkles. I actually have a podcast in my earbuds right now, listening to little Dr. Drew and uh, Adam Carolla. Remember to come back later and leave mean comments. Oh, uh, Cecil, I checked in with yesterday and he said he hasn't forgotten. He's dealing with a little bit of issues from the flooding in New York that affected his apartment. So that's uh, that's it. Oh, yeah, you mentioned on the Jack Show. Oh, there you go. How did you get the feed so clear? It looks great now. Uh, I called up the internet company, and they reset my modem. I ran a new speed test, and my speed test after the reset of the modem went from 1.8 to 11.7. So uh, there you go. AJ Tom is back. We can all relax now. Whew. I was so uptight. Got to go. All right, Don, have a good one.
Did you guys see the little controversy that uh, reset the router from your end? No, they reset it on theirs. I can reset it here, though. I haven't watched Big Trouble in Little China in forever. Anyhow, so uh, the writer of the Immortal Hulk, Hulk, Al Ewing will never work with, uh, what's his face? The artist Joe Bennett again, because Joe Bennett did a cartoon uh, that reflects something in his country, Brazil, that uh, Al disagreed with. And I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but from what I could tell, what I could tell, it looked like uh, Joe Bennett just did a political cartoon um, making fun of the left. Uh, so I guess Joe Bennett leans more to the right conservative, and he made fun of the left. And uh, Al Ewing didn't like that, and he got all uh, flustered about it and said, that's it. How dare you make fun of the left? You can't do that, even though it's a political cartoon and there are political cartoonists everywhere doing stuff. So I don't know. It just seems kind of uh, dumb to me. Seems like a little weak sauce, if you will. So whatever. Who cares? If you don't like a political cartoon, you know, get over it. I am back. Uh, love how he buried Joe Bennett only after their last issue was solicited. Yeah, right? I mean, Al's big thing is, oh, no, he drew these people and they look like rats. Oh, no. End of the world, guys. There we go. I wonder if there's a place where a right-leaning veteran artist of amazing skill and talent could go and be supported. I know. I wonder. People need to start minding their own business again, and Marvel shouldn't be letting employees dictate with colleagues they work with. Exactly. Whatever doesn't matter. It looks good now, Andy. You should maybe play around with the lighting, though. You're getting some glare and washing out a bit. Hold on. I'll try one thing. and Give me a second here. How's this? Is that better? You let me know if that's better. Looks great to me. But is it better with the light or without the light? Better for sure. All right. Well, this is how we'll do it then. Good morning. Best morning show on Comics Gate. Well, thank you. I try.
There we go. I wish I could get the camera better. Let me try something here. Hold on. All right, let's try that. AJ says, this is an amazing piece. Thank you. Do you use that grip on your brush to avoid hand fatigue, or does it give you better control? Nope, it's just how I hold it. I hold my pencil the same way, too. So. Hawk looks like Lou. It's supposed to be. Decided yesterday to do Christopher Reeve's Superman and uh, fighting Lou Frigno Hulk. So. Um, awesome. Um, thank you. Got to be honest, just my opinion, but those nipples on the hawk look ridiculous. Maybe you have plans to make them more subtle once they're inked. <laughs> They'll be more subtle. Relax. <laughs> oh, that's funny. God, I wish I had a camera built into my glasses. Then you guys would literally see what I see. Because right now where I've got this camera positioned is rather annoying for me to doing the inking, but it helps you guys see it, so... Nice. Since you're a wrestling fan, have you met many wrestlers at conventions? Sometimes I feel sorry for guys like Tugboat and Virgil sitting by themselves. I was at a convention recently and I talked to Sergeant Slaughter for a bit. He's a very cool guy.
That's a perfect camera angle. Okie dokie. Wish this cord wasn't here, but I can't do much about that. If I can get through this without having to use whiteout, I'm, oh, I won't be able to color it. I forgot. There's whiteout pen up here, which won't take marker the same. Never mind. No color for this. Totally black and white. I, I haven't watched AEW, so unfortunately, no thoughts. I don't really watch modern wrestling much. How do you load your brush cartridge or well off screen well there's no cartridge this is a real brush uh no i use uh higgins black magic i just uncapped it uncapped the bottle and dip my brush right in All right, now I gotta do his face. I met Lou at 1997 Chicago Comic Con, my best con of all cons. First year of Men Behind the Mask Star Wars. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's see. Superman, Superman, if he can't do it, no one can. I have not watched uh, the latest episode of What If, so I'm behind. I have to watch the fourth episode of that.
are there any plans after first man or is this going to be your only main franchise from now on uh don't know yet i do not know yet great question i wish i could answer it but i just don't know Little shadow under there, some reflected light. The cloth wrinkles on Soup's abs look amazing. Smart addition. Thank you. And I will be going back in with white out to uh, make them look a little more dimensional as well. Like I said, this is my Christopher Reeves Superman. So that's why uh, I'm doing the hairstyle and the cloth abs. Or, I mean, the cloth uh, wrinkles and stuff. I would never do that on a, a normal Superman. I can see a very successful Penumbra franchise. You never know. Welcome back. What was the culprit for the video quality? Had to reset the router. What's up, my bro from another mother? What's up, Art to Bear? Doing a little inking on a Superman, Christopher Reeve, fighting Lou Ferrigno's Hulk. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course I want to draw uh, my Christopher Reeve Superman a little buffer than he really was. F. Lou. I know, Art. You don't like Lou. It was originally supposed to be Doomsday, but in the chat yesterday, we decided, uh, since I was doing Christopher Reeve's Superman, we should do Lou Ferrigno Hulk, which I must say is a little easier to draw than Doomsday. So uh, that's what I went with. Got to dip my brush. I know Lou did you wrong. Got to dip my brush right into the inkwell. 
no uh nothing else there to dip it into i just dip it right into the bottle itself don't get many ideas aj Chris Reeve will always be the Superman to me. And um an American Superman, um Superman is not a globalist commie, exactly. I'm using Higgins Black Magic. It's amazing that this lighting is good for you guys. It is so dark for me. The uh, the sacrifices I do for you guys. Superman, Superman. What I need to do is use a white light instead of the yellow light bulb I have. That might work better for me. Oh, that was too thick. Uh, Doug Tanapal loads his brush in a bottle cap with India ink. I just don't understand why not just dip the brush right into the bottle. See this line right here? A little too thick. I'm going to have to white out some of that line to make it a little bit thinner. And that really annoys me. That is kicking my OCD into overdrive. How thick that line is right there. This line right here is way too thick. So I'm going to have to white it out some. Mm. How do you feel about Higgins art to bear?
Look at that S. Even with that thick line, all brush. Higgins is not a fave of mine. Oh, come on, Art. Who doesn't love the old black magic? You got to send me that screenshot of the Pelican you use because I'm dying to try that. All right, I guess I got to do his hair. I want to use a template for that oval right there. So let me see. Higgins blows art. Take a picture of that Pelican bottle and post it in our uh, professionals chat so I can see it. So glad you got that off your chest. I am too, Art. Just shadow shade the section of the S. His arm is right for a shadow. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm the only cartoonist that likes Higgins. I can't be. I've had bottles of Higgins that suck. This bottle is doing really good for me. Oh, yeah. Look at that black on his hair. Mmm. Take it easy, Art. Thanks, brother. I appreciate dro you dropping in. I feel like Higgins is what Vinnie Coletta used. I like Vinnie Coletta. I didn't like it all, but... Our Tiber just went live with his morning hullabaloo. Look at that. Art going, you know what? I'm going to pull viewers. Darn it.
I think your Lou Ferdinand Hawk triggered art. Maybe that professional stream was fantastic. Thank you. We try to entertain and enlighten. Superman, Su not leaving you. Thanks. I'm like a crazy ex-girlfriend. Yay. I hope you don't ever put a rabbit in a pot. So when I come home, I see a boiling rabbit because that would be bad. All right. I think I might do some pen rendering now with my brush pen on Superman. I started drawing this cover at a con when I was bored. All right. No, I'm not a fan of rabbit stew. Gross. Well, I appreciate that. I love Kevin Nolan. So, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Kevin Nolan is a big influence, even though it doesn't really show that much. Uh, you know, I just, I love his work. Oh, that's funny. Sorry, I just had to had to look at something over here. Cool. It's funny how four dudes from all over the U.S. ascribe to most of the same techniques and read the same how-tos. Great minds think alike. Uh, Americans don't eat rabbit. They seem, that seemed a very dry. I've never had rabbit. I'd eat it. I just never had it. All right, let's see. Hmm. That's right. Back first man too. It's not so common here now, but when I was a kid, you could still buy. Really? Have a great weekend, Val. Thanks for posting the link. Subtle little rendering, happy little lines. All right, got a text message from my kid I got to look at real fast. That sounds like a bunch of crap. 
I'm getting spam text messages. That drives me absolutely up the wall. Spam text messages. Yeah, that's BS. Oh, what's this? All right. Text messages is taken care of. Oh, I've had alligator. Uh, Wow, the mailman's already here. I've never eaten rabbit, but there's so many wild ones in the city. That's pretty cool. I'm calling you to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh, thank you. I like squirrels. Squirrels are cute. How do you not like squirrels? My daughter sent me a picture of some snacks she bought me for when we go see Shang-Chi, if anybody's wondering. It was nice of her. Adam says, what pen is that? And no, that's not irritating. It is a Tombow, uh, a Tombow uh, brush pen, uh, extra, uh, Tombow brush pen, extra fine nib. Blah. There, I got it out. Make sure you go tonight. Sounds like Disney's sacrificing it to boost Disney Plus. Really? No, we already have tickets.
All right, let's see. I hear that movie's lead is terrible. Uh, I like him in Kim's Convenience. That's a sitcom from Canada that he was in. It was really good. So, I bet if he's a little white out there, that line went a little too farther than I wanted to. Oh, got to change podcast. That's how Marvel didn't support the movie with collected editions. No, because it got pushed back. They they had stuff come out, I thought, of Master of Kung Fu. I swear I saw some collected editions come out. I want to say they released an epic collection. I thought they did. Oh, yeah. Megan Kelly's great. Her episode this week was really good. There are a couple epics about two years ago. They canceled the third one. Oh, I thought they did. Huh. Well, I'll take your word for it.
Are there any characters you hate to draw? Just ask in case anyone here wants a commission from the campaign. Not really. Uh, characters I've never drawn before I look at as a challenge. So, no, there's not really any I hate to draw. Hyper Kaiju, thank you very much. Back first man to learning curve. That gets a highlight. Right there. You know, let me try something here too. See if this helps. Oh, look at that. That may I should have done that earlier. Yep, better late than never. All right, let's uh, do some. Have you drawn any of the SJW replacement characters? Uh, I think I did a female Thor, but I don't mind female Thor because anybody can hold the hammer. I did it for my daughter. What is that noise? Oh, nothing. Okay. I thought I heard a noise. All right, let's see. Did I do a stream already where I showed you all the art I've drawn for my daughter? I'm pretty sure I have. If you're curious what that means, every Christmas I do a drawing for my daughter. And I've been doing that since she was two and she's 18. So, uh, yeah, she has a lot of my art. All just for her personalized. And the one caveat is the art has to include a include first man and then whatever other characters she requests i can't remember if i did a stream showing that stuff or not if i haven't i'll have to do one i might do a favorite commission stream kind of like aaron did going through showing some commissions you have showed us some pieces here and there but if you've done a stream dedicated to that i don't remember yeah there's like well, maybe I'll just do a stream dedicated to that. Then it will be easy to find in my library of videos. Superman, Superman. Mm -hmm. She's got a few pieces. She's got, like I said, the new piece always gets hung up in her bedroom and then the old piece from the year before i take and we hang it up in our family room so our family room has lots of my artwork hung up that was all done for courtney
Some person. Superman versus Mr. Nipples. Dude, how'd you guess? And hello. So Monday stream, we will focus on the art I've done for Courtney. That will be Monday stream. And then I'll do a favorite commission stream. Oh, my wife hangs my work around. Dude, that's nice, though. I mean, Courtney's art goes all the way back to 2004, hanging up. You know, I see problems with everything, and, you know, but it's her art. She loves it, so... I got no big plans this week. And we have relatives coming in, actually. My mother-in-law and one of my sister-in-laws is coming in for a visit. So I'm looking forward to that. Any chance you and Dennis will get Eric Canate on the show when he launches? I would love to get Eric Canate on the show. So uh, I will reach out to him. Oh, wow. I just realized I got to do Superman's cape back here. I'm going to do Superman's cape. Crap. That's pretty funny. I'm like, Superman's done. Then I realized, no, he's not. I got to do his cape and I got to do that. Does uh, Eric Canate have a sign-up sheet yet or sign-up link for his campaign? All right, let's see. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's see.
I'll have to go to his Instagram and check it out. Tyler Kirkham book for 50K. Wow. I backed it. Apparently, he's going to do a black and white artist edition. Ooh. Is it going to be 11 by 17, or is it just going to be comic book size? Oh, no idea. Well, uh, printing on those 11 by 17 books is not cheap. So I'll be very curious to see what he does. I might leave the back of his cape open with no solid blacks. That's what I'm thinking right now. So I'm going to wait until the piece is done before I decide if I want to put any solid blacks in his cape. Yeah, he, I mean, if he just hit 50, 75, yeah, he does have a long way to go. Is this campaign in demand or is it still uh, active 
uh, crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oops. Oh, five days left. Okay, cool. Hey, what's up? Got it working. Yes, I did. All right. Hello. I'll show you guys on this camera what it's looking like. And uh, I'm moving this one. See, this is where the camera was looking down on my desk. Get it out of the way. There. All right. This is where we're at right now. on it let's see so there we go superman fighting uh superman christopher reeve uh esque superman in regards to hairstyle somewhat face and costume fighting Lou Frigno, Incredible Hulk. So there you have it. That's where we're at right now. Look at that arm channeling Graham Nolan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, I hope everybody has a good weekend. I've got some stuff to do. Uh, one is eat lunch. And... Uh, 
you know, you guys, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Remember, First Man 2 is still funding with about 11 days left. Please back it if you haven't. I would love to get up to 25000 uh, before the campaign ends. There it is. Thank you very much, Hyper Kaiju. Please back it. Uh, you know what you're backing. You're backing this. Luke Henry, after kicking Monarch's ass to the depths of space, is back on Earth. And now he's looking to save the world from the Fourth World Foundation. Sure, he had help from Penumbra before, but she's not helping him this time. He's got to face it on his own. He's coming for a villain known as Adonis. He'll do it. You'll be there. Back it now. First Man 2. Learning There it is, guys. Please back it and share it. I really would love to get it up to 25000 before the campaign closes. And uh, guys, I will uh, be back Monday and we'll look at some of the artwork I've done for Courtney over the past uh, 17 years. So uh, that'll be fun to show you guys all the First Man and Friends artwork. And until then, you know what I'm bringing back. I'm bringing sexy back. I'm bringing sexy back.